Well, as you get up, Monty comes striding back to the camp after having uh, been all the way uh, for the night holding his vigil. And uh, he says, good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. He good says, morning. why did the game good master morning. leave an extra campfire over here? What the hell is he doing with that sitting on the game map? And we say to Monty, really, is it a good morning? Oh, he seems to think it's just a fine morning. He suggests that what we do is go scatter the ashes of the funeral pyre. Scatter them into the water might be the best thing for the little fae girl. And uh, clear the site. Uh, the fire, like I said, has burned itself out. And so as you clean it all the way, um, you, you find there's just a black charred spot where the grass is burned away and nothing else there as you clean away the rest of it. After that, Monty, suggest, Monty goes and he makes you all a good breakfast. And then he walks over to his tent taps on it with the staff that he's always carrying around on him and boop it all of a sudden forms itself back into his backpack which he picks up then he takes a little uh folded up paper out of his tunic and he hands it over to percy and says here i wrote this last night for you keep it safe keep it with the mirror remember you must get that mirror to the fake queen indeed this is, is, is the, the most important thing. The fairy, the, fairy, fairy well? the note, the note is written to the fae queen, and okay. only she can read it. If it falls into other hands, none will see anything but a blank sheet of paper. Perfect. But you give her that, and that will, or, or her guards, and they will know what it means, for it bears my mark. Well, to. the next time we meet, and I'm sure there will be a next time. I'd like to hear the story of how you actually came to come to this world. How it happened to you. We might be able to swap. I'll trade you how I happened in this world, happened upon this world, and how you all happened upon this world. Our pleasure. Lovely. I look forward to it. Mm -hmm. It's been a joy meeting you. Thank you. Thank, Thank, Thank you, you for everything, all right. Monty. Thank you, Monty. Monty waves farewell, and he starts striding off along the path. And he walks off to the west and the last you see of him he's headed off west down the trail and out of sight now you've still got camp if you're going to pack it up you should do that and then decide what and where you're uh, going to we go just settling in for the night didn't we so you didn't had a sleep that. you got up we oh we okay we, we okay and right now it's 10.30, so we're going to yep. play for about another 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we're going to, uh, maybe 15 minutes, and then we're going to cash it all in. It really depends on what you guys decide to do right now. Well, we have this lovely mammoth. Yeah, I figured we, we would yes, uh, rig the mammoth and get going. We might like to get our stuff packed oh, right. up on. So and, we have to yeah. figure out how to kind of control the mammoth, because it was explained to us that the mammoth is going to be uncontrollable so we've got put a, to put a carrot in rain front of we've got to rain him okay with, so with ropes well you have the who's got the animal who has a mammoth ability? driver license in this group mm -hmm. yeah okay well first of all before you can do anything like that you need to you know pack everything up conjure a map pack everything up let's assume you do that it takes you about half an hour who's got them who's got the little wondrous figure I that's a mammoth speak I did. You do. And what do you do with your little mammoth figurine? It says here, finally carved from a solid piece of marble, this gleaming elephant becomes a fully grown elephant mastodon when activated. The mastodon can be called upon no more than four times. It means 24 hours. Are you calling upon the mastodon? Let me just check to see. Yes. Okay. Well, then I think you should... <laughs> rub it like Aladdin's lamp. Go ahead and just rub that baby like Aladdin's lamp. And book a mastodon appears. Oh, isn't that pretty? He's beautiful. Hey, where is he? Oh, he's is he's too far down? Let me uh, zoom you out here. Let me zoom you out. And give me Monty. He's not in the. He's not in the group anymore. 
You now have a Mastodon. I worked a long time to make that damn Mastodon, so you better be impressed by it. We are very are. impressed by it's it. It's beautiful. Okay, it's right there. and uh, It's like Ice Age. And I'm going to speak to it and say, uh, will, you got, will you come with us and carry us on our journey? And it looks at you with understanding eyes. And uh, does it look at you with understanding eyes? Can it, it actually look speak? at me, I would think. By... It just says it's magical. Uh, I think it just goes, okay, and it just stands there waiting. All right. Well, let's load it up. Uh, so we're going to have to put some ropes around it. And so we're going to use the climbing gear to put ropes around it. So you're going to build a harness on it yeah, with your harness. Uh, all right. It just stands there unconcerned yeah. at all yeah. while you do this. Okay. Uh, and then everybody get on board. I can see if I can make this work. Just, just give me a sec here. Let me see. Get on board. Let Where's the rest of you? There you are. For plenty of more on a big old mammoth <laughs> in the woods. We'll put you yeah. there. Where's Raven? Where did he go? Um, Raven, did you like? Where's Where's, where's your token at? Uh, yeah, well, I haven't moved it. Are you under a mammoth? No. Did you get squished? Uh, Hopefully, noticed, he's not under a mammoth. I noticed his token wasn't on there. Oh, okay. Well, let's drag Raven over here. Boop. Boop. He was over there, there at the camp. Yeah, I thought he was at the doing funeral, camp but, stuff. Uh, okay. Okay. So. so, the reason I ask, which button do we do to do this? Ah, we do this one. We do this, and then we do this, spook, and then we do this, and then we do this. Dun. And now, let's see if it works. Boop. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So you see, this is obviously, again, made for being remote, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I have another time. plan, but I'm not going to share it with you for other stuff. But we'll just go with this for now. We're just doing the, the screen version. Okay. All right. So we have our mammoth, and you are all on it. Yep. And you are ready to head down the path? Yes. Uh, we are, we're so going far. to the to south. The south to the south. Uh, yeah, I thought we were going southwest or southeast slightly. Yes. So yeah. the path heads southeast. And as you uh, continue along the path, we'll just do this on the adventure screen. Uh, do the adventure screen on the yep. deck, please. Okay. As you continue on the path, the path heads south. The mammoth has no problem crossing the stream what? with its big legs while you just go along. It seems that the stream is kind of following here, and it heads down off the map, and you are now traveling. On the big map. So you're on the big map, and the question is right now, and I'm totally going to get a mammoth icon for this. Oh, my God. Right now you're where the little white hand is. Can we do things while we're on the mammoth? For example, can I craft? <laughs> okay. So you're going like this. I am going to add 10 points to any crafting difficulty check uh, just by virtue of the rocking mammoth for what you want to try and make. Okay. I want to make some scrolls. You want to make some scrolls. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you're trying to make scrolls while the mammoth walks towards the south. Okay. Okay. It, it says uh, mammoths should be able to travel about 40 kilometers an hour. Right. So 40 kilometers an hour. And I have taken that into account. Uh, so, you know, yeah, you're making good speed. You're covering a lot of ground through the forest. Uh, Raven is attempting to make scrolls. So he rolls yep. a difficulty check. Okay. And you can add your... What the hell do we add to this? Acrobatics to keep your balance while you write. Good Lord. So you can okay. add the acrobatics bonus, and then you've got to beat the difficulty check with a plus 10 on it. This reminds me of those diamond okay. cutting just ads. trying to find my... Uh, <laughs> remember? My skills remember? here. So smooth. You're okay. You can cut that time, so... 
I'm rolling a. So I rolled a 14 plus 9 is um, 23. It's going to be 25 because it's 15 plus 10. So you just about made it. Mm. See, if you'd rolled, what, a 16? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You would have made it. I was so skeptical, but it makes sense. Okay. The average difficulty check for just about anything is 15, right? Okay. And so that means that we're adding the 10 and that's how we got our 25. All right. As you are heading south and Raven's first scroll does not work out at all for him, um, you spend about an hour on the road. Uh, I'm going to say, should we go a second hour? You're going to yep. continue traveling yep. another hour? The uh, second hour is going to take you right into 1130 AM. And when I have that world clock working, we're going to actually do this stuff, right? You going to continue? Because I, I think the rules of this thing is it can only be activated for a 24 hour period. Correct. Every month. No, four, four times, times a month. Yeah, four times a month. Okay. So we could probably use those four times together at once. But now you have currently covered uh, about 80 kilometers, right? Okay. Yeah. Which means that uh, you are well away from the camp that you were at. You're quite a ways. You've really been moving along in a good clip. This is the amazing thing about a magical mammoth is that it never tires. Yeah. Right. As you're moving along, uh, you all of a sudden encounter a new map that you're walking along. Oh, and it's actually daylight and I need a mammoth here. Mammoth. I did not prepare to have a mammoth in this case. <laughs> and we're going to, did you... that's it's as you're I riding along the mammoth, you pass by a really strange site on the side of the road. And this is, this is what I've been trying to get to. Okay. This is where I've been going with the story. As you're riding along the mammoth, uh-huh. let's do this. And he's going down the road at a good clip. Oh no. All of a sudden, you pass by this is not good. a deserted camp, and the fire is still burning. They scattered into the woods, boys and gals. Into the woods we go, we go. Do you want to have a look at the camp? Guys? Well, we've been four hours on our mammoth. We are due for a break anyway. It's 1046, and my eyes are, like, I know. keeping... Give me one forward. minute. You get down off of the mammoth. Mm-hmm. You go, and you examine the mm-hmm. camp. And the first thing that you notice is that that is not mm-hmm. supposed to be there. What is that? With one foot That's burning in the dead fire, I'm, there is yeah, a obviously that. dead person with one foot burning in the fire, a big puddle of blood and uh, underneath, and a whole bunch of bloody tracks around with a set of footprints leading away. Do they look like human footprints or something else? We're going to pick it up there and you're going to find out next week. So stay tuned. Well, yet right, again, that's another cliffhanger. Let's do, let's do a 350. Very emotional. We said goodbye to good friends. All right. Thanks again, guys. Thank you so Thank much, you. Dave. Good Thanks night. Everyone. Have a good, good night. night. See you all. Is this-